All right. Um, now that we've SBF'd and we're back to uh, 5.6.890, um, that's our system version. And we want to update to the new system version. This is the manual way to do it. You can do it in two ways. You can go to settings and you can go to about phone and you can hit system update and it should find it and update it for you. The manual way is to download the file which I have already on my Droid 3 and to update it manually. So to update it manually we have to power off the phone. Power off. Alright, shut down. Slide open the keyboard and push the X button and hold the power button. Just hold them. Give it a little second here. Okay, so now we're, this is Android recovery. Now from here, you shut the phone and you push both volume up and down at the same time. All right, so now we're in Android system recovery. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna apply update, apply update from SD card. And then you want to select that. And I think you can select with the power button. Let's try it. Yes. So my update I put in my file called Kexic. Then you hit power button again to select that. And then you scroll down to the update zip, which is Blur Verizon 5.6.890, blah, 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 US zip. That's going to update us to... Um, the 5.7.906 Verizon, which is the most recent one. So we're going to go ahead and uh, select that. And it's going to go through the install. So it says installing from SD card Kexic. And it's going to go through there and should update our device to the newest Android version for the Droid 3 on Verizon. So let's let this go through its process and we'll come back to it. Here we go, oh here we go. Finding update package, opening update package, verifying update package. So it's going through the process. It's gonna take a little while, so let's just let this go through and I'll come back. Okay, so we just finished our uh, installation here. It says install from SD card complete. So at this point, all we gotta do is uh, reboot system now. And you can do that with the power button and it's rebooting. Um, once we've rebooted, um, we should uh, go be able to go into About Phone and see that we are on the newest version of uh, Android for the Droid 3, again, which is 5.7.906. Um, and uh, we'll do that really quick here and see the differences in that a little bit. Um, but give it its time. Definitely be patient on any of the things you're doing on any of your Droid devices. Always be patient on it. Give it plenty of time to, 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 to do its stuff. I mean, if you ever feel like you're stuck on something, give this thing 20 minutes. Give it 20 minutes. If it doesn't work in 20 minutes, then pull a battery or do something else to, to get it to work. But always give it plenty of time when you're, you know, SPFing or um, rooting or, you know, updating it or anything like that. Give it, give it a lot of time so that uh, you're not impatient on it. Um... So let's just let this thing uh, reboot and we'll look at it then. All right, here we go. It is rebooting right as we speak. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and open this up if it'll finish booting here. Come on. We're being patient. All right, there we go. All right, so there you go. Now we're going to go into settings again. Scroll down to about phone. Again, sorry if you guys can't see this, it is very bright. And here we go, system version 5.7.906 for the uh, XT862 Verizon. So we are now updated um, and we are on the latest version. So, next I'm gonna guys show you guys how to root and then probably install safe strap and some custom ROMs. But those will be in the next videos, so how to manually update um, your operating system from Verizon, and that is how. Thanks for checking it out.